Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and this is episode 51 of my King Tiger and Bergpanzer diorama build. If you're watching this, then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. Right, now the racks are fitted and glue has dried, we can fit the rounds in. So, without further ado, let's crank up the speedy yuppie thing and crack on. That's the majority of the rounds fitted into the turret. I'm leaving some gaps as the others will be part of the diorama. Now it's time to fit the other racks into the lower hole. So let's get them sorted. Oh, missus, what a malarkey that was. Working out which went where. But we got there in the end. Next up, fitting the bow gun. So, here we go with that. Bollocks. Gonna have to super glue that now. Bow gun glued and in place. Next, the machine gun in the turret. Ooh, look at me, fitting the turret gun and not breaking it. I'm chuffed about that one, let alone how good it looks. Anywho, now to move on to the Hetzer. We've already sprayed the desert yellow, now we're going to move on to the whole red, Tamiya's XF9. But before I spray that, I'm just going to lightly mark out where that goes with a propelling pencil. So, here we go with those two bits.
there we have the whole red done. My small detailing skills with the airbrush are coming along. I need to keep practicing and it'll get even better. Also, I'm learning the consistency of the paint more as well, which helps no end. And also when to turn up the compressor, when to turn down. Now it's time for Olive Drab, Tamiya's XO62. Here, I'm just gonna go on the inside of the whole red as to replicate how they have the camo done. So, here we go with that. There we have the olive drab done, but there are still some areas that need a little bit of touch up with the paint. So let's get those done. That's the olive drab touch up done. Now for the desert yellow touch up. There we have the desert yellow touch-ups done. Next we're going to glue the spare poly into the crate that goes in the opening of the Hetzer and then paint the spare track that goes on the hole behind that opening. So here we go. That's those done, so let's leave those to dry. Now we have the panels for the side of the Hetzer. We're going to be spraying these desert yellow, Tamiya's XF59. So let's get these done. That's those panels done. I did those by slowly building up the colour in thin coats. Now to do the whole red on the lower hull. Again, I'm first masking the area. No, I'm not masking. I'm marking the area with a pencil. So here we go with that. Now I'm masking up. Why 
While I'm marking things up, I thought I'd better do the support poles too, as I forgot to do them earlier. And there we go, that's everything marked and masked up. So, let's get on with the spraying, shall we? And there we have the lower hole sprayed with Tamiya XF 9 hole red. Let's pop that to one side and leave it to dry. Anywho, this seems like a good a place as any to end. So thank you for watching episode 51. If you want to see what happens in episode 52, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.